This hydro dipping question comes from one of our YouTube viewers. Can you do a video about letting the film sit for longer than 60 to 90 seconds and what would happen if you were to do that? Y'all got questions? I got answers. Let's do it. So if you didn't already know, you should only let your hydro dipping film soak for about 60 to 90 seconds. What I mean by soak is you put it on the water and you let it sit there before you activate it for somewhere between one minute and one and a half minutes. That is just the industry standard. That's the way the film is designed to work. It's designed to soak up all that water and get hydrated within that minute to minute and a half range. Every now and then we'll have a film that wants to go for two minutes and every now and then we'll find a film that likes to go for just a little bit less, but it all comes down to experimentation and finding out what the particular film likes. So what happens if you leave it longer than 90 seconds or longer than two minutes? Minutes. For most films, absolutely nothing's going to happen. They'll be perfectly fine. It's not going to make anything happen. Nothing's going to break. Nothing's going to fall apart. It's just going to sit there until you use it. There are some rare instances where some films, the inks inside the films, when they soak up too much water or they sit for too long, the colors will start to fade and do some really funky stuff. I think the longest I've ever let a film sit on the water is about five minutes. And that's the whole thing with this is like, I don't know why you would want to let it sit for longer than you have to. 60 to 90 seconds, somewhere in that range, that gives you plenty of time to get your film on the water, go pick up your part, get it ready to dip, spray your activator, and then go. I don't know why you would need to let it sit for longer than five minutes in the first place. And there's no reason to try to reinvent the wheel. There are tons of us out there that do hydro dipping for a living and we all do it the exact same way. We put the film on the water, let it soak for 60 to 90 seconds, we activate it, and then we dip it. There's not any reason to try to do it any different. If you want to let it sit for longer, go right ahead. It's more than likely not going to hurt anything. If you do let it sit for longer and you notice that the colors aren't as bright and vibrant as they're supposed to, then you know what you did wrong. You let it sit too long. Go back to 60 or 90 seconds and dip at that time. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's roll the bloopers. Viewers and they at. Did I turn the camera on? I did. I'm so smart. And they asked. They asked. Uh. Crap. On letting us know what the film soap for what the. What happens if you might when you. Industry standard is 60 to 90-ish or so-ish seconds-ish. What is wrong with me? So what happens if you let it sit for longer than 60 to 90 seconds? I, nothing. Don't do it. Why does everybody try to do new stuff? There's nothing wrong with the way we've been doing it forever. Just do it. How have we been doing it? It's not that big of a deal. Oh.